Ain't nothing like the desert. Today, we're heading to Wisconsin's Desert, a spring green preserve. The preserve is located in Sauk County in the southwestern part of the state. When most people think of Wisconsin, they think of lush meadows, woods, and lakes. But this unique, arid environment is comprised of sand, cacti, and plenty of interesting creatures that call it home. Additionally, some specialized birds can be found on the preserve, including lark sparrows, dick thistle, and the occasional blue grosbeak. Spring Green is owned by the Nature Conservancy and was deemed a state natural area in 1972. It didn't take long for us to locate one of Spring Green's most prominent avian residents, the dick sisal. Right here we have one of the many dick sisal that are around the preserve. And you can hear that distinctive call with the two notes and then the following notes. It sounds kind of like dick, dick, sisal, sizzle. That's where they get their name from. In some years, they're a lot more difficult to find. This year, they've been pretty numerous, and Spring Green is a really great stronghold for them, so you can hear them pretty much anywhere on this place. Dick thistles are sparrow-like grassland birds, identified by their brown, black, white, and yellow coloring and distinctive call. Males have a black V shape on their chest and look similar to a smaller meadowlark. Dick thistles may make irregular movements outside of their normal breeding range to suitable grassland habitats, which can drastically change their yearly abundance. They can flock in the thousands when preparing for migration in the fall. In the winter, there may be flocks of dick thistles in the millions. If one does stray away from its normal range, it is not uncommon to find it flocking with house sparrows. The distinctive call of the dick thistle was one of many bird noises we heard on the preserve. So probably the easiest way to find stuff around here is by call. And so there's a lot of different calls happening right now. You can hear the dick thistle in the background probably. But that's the easiest way to locate where your target bird is. And then once you figure out what general location the call is coming from, it's a lot easier to find it. Most of them will sit up on the tops of trees or small shrubs, so that helps us locate them as well. With many of the birds perched up and singing, it didn't take us long to find another one of Spring Green's specialty species. What do we got? Grasshopper. Grasshopper? Yeah. Very cool. So out here on the stick, we have a grasshopper sparrow. And you can probably hear them in the background in some of the other videos. They make a click click and then high buzz noise. So that's partly where they got their name from, their grasshopper-like call but a lot of their diet also consists of grasshoppers. So, perfect name for this little bird. Grasshopper sparrows are small, brown songbirds with a dark crown containing a lighter middle stripe and yellow coloration above the eye. They are perfectly at home in spring green's arid grassland. They are ground nesters and make their cup-shaped nests out of grass blades and stems to help camouflage the nest site. There are 12 subspecies of grasshopper sparrow, with four of them breeding in the United States. The grasshopper sparrows seem content to stay in the same territory on the preserve, but one other sparrow species was constantly on the move, the lark sparrow. The lark sparrow, identified by their facial markings, dark chest spot, and white tipped tail, live in open fields with poor or sandy soil and small trees and shrubs. These birds eat both seeds and insects. Unlike most songbirds, lark sparrows will actually walk along the ground as opposed to hopping. One of them even walked on the path just a few feet in front of us. In Wisconsin, lark sparrows are rare. However, in spring green, they are one of the most numerous birds during the spring and summer. Lark sparrows also use the white on the tip of their tail in courtship displays, which the males fan out to help attract females. While the birds on the preserve were extremely cool, some of the other local flora and fauna caught our attention. So this is something I'm really excited to share with you guys. This in, in spring green, we're out here in pretty much Wisconsin's desert. We have sand, something really cool that we have are, are prickly pear cactuses. This is one of the few places in the state that you can actually find them. While the cacti were indeed fascinating, it was the diverse insect life that was truly impossible to ignore. Well, it's a pretty, pretty nice day to be out here. It's not too hot. It's uh, a lot of bug activity going on. Ah, the bugs are really annoying. All up in your ear face. 
From gnats to butterflies to grasshoppers, it seemed that everywhere you looked, there was a different type of insect, including one type that a small but dedicated group of Wisconsin area enthusiasts are eager to find each year. Tiger beetle. Tiger beetles are known for their ferocious eating habits and incredibly fast moving speeds. Larvae live in a burrow and wait for insect prey to move nearby before quickly lunging out of the burrow and dragging the prey back down to the bottom to be eaten. Adult tiger beetles are incredibly fast. Some have been known to reach a top speed of 9 km per hour or 125 body lengths per second. Wisconsin is home to 16 species of tiger beetle, and Spring Green provides habitat for 9, possibly 10 of those species. While looking at the tiger beetles, a classic bird of open fields caught our attention, an eastern meadowlark. Eastern meadowlarks are not actually members of the lark family, but are actually members of the blackbird family. They sing a variety of different calls, and males typically have two mates at a time, sometimes three. They can be distinguished from western meadowlarks by call, and from dick thistle by their longer bill, short tail, and rounded wings. We also encountered an indigo bunting, a bird that looks very similar to a blue grosbeak. Some of the differences between the two species are the indigo bunting's smaller stature, thinner bill, and lack of rusty wing bars. Near the indigo bunting, we were able to locate another colorful bird. Orchard Oriole. Orchard Orioles are the smallest Oriole species in North America. Males are a deep burnt orange and females are a yellowish green. Both males and females feed on insects, fruit, and nectar. They prefer habitat along river edges, but can also be seen near other bodies of water and in scattered trees and large fields. Spring Green is one of the most unique places in the state of Wisconsin. Its arid landscapes evoke images of America's southwestern deserts, and its plethora of animal life makes it one of the state's natural gems. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Oof. Bug in the ear. Yeah. Yeah.